This is the new GeoBook and from the title you must have guessed that this is a bad laptop but you know what Geo is actually redefining bad with this laptop. It's actually sad because this could have been a really really good budget laptop at 15k but it's not. See there are things that maybe I'm okay with in this laptop and there's one thing that I'm just not okay with. First let's talk about what I'm okay with in this laptop. Look first of all this has a nice slim and lightweight design that actually does not feel super cheap. It has this rubbery sort of finish which is a big fingerprint magnet but I'll take this over hard plastic backs any day although I'm not too sure about the durability if you can see. The ports are also fine, no USB-C port but you do get USB-A ports, mini HDMI and even an SD card reader which is nice. The display is also something I'm okay with, it's an 11.6 inch TN panel and this is an average display with poor viewing angles, washed out colors, although the brightness seems fine but for the price I'll still call it decent because it's not unusable. The keyboard and trackpad are okayish for the price, the keys are a bit too small and the trackpad has lag but they work. The battery and charging is actually good, I mean it takes one and a half hours to charge which is great. The laptop looks like it'll last for five to six hours which again is great for a low end laptop. Connectivity wise there's Wi-Fi 5 dual band support, Bluetooth is 5.0 and there is also a GeoSIM built in but you have to go to a Geo store to get it enabled. So a lot of things in the GeoBook are okay, kind of fine for the price but what I'm not okay with is the experience. The GeoBook is powered by the Snapdragon 665 which I know is a chipset from 2019 that we used to see in low-end phones around 10k. So yeah, the GeoBook is kind of underpowered for a laptop. Plus even Chromebooks under 20k have 4GB RAM and 64GB storage while this comes with half the storage and RAM. So the specs are bad in this laptop but what's worse is the OS. Look this comes with a brand new Geo OS and when I heard of it I was skeptical but I thought maybe Geo's partnership with Google would mean that it will be something like Chrome OS Flex, a lightweight OS for laptops but turns out it's just a disgrace. The Geo OS is actually based on Android but it's Android 10 which again launched three years back and the UI, the performance, the features, everything makes you feel like you're living in the gingerbread ice cream sandwich era. I mean just look at the app icons, everything looks outdated, weirdly designed and a rehash of Android, Chrome OS, Windows and even Mac OS. The settings page and the app drawer are obviously Android like. The maximize minimize buttons in the windows are similar to Mac OS, just square instead of circles. You can see the Chrome OS influence in quick settings and these brightness and volume sliders or even the taskbar. Now I said the UI is weirdly designed because you have this geo button in the corner and you'd expect it to maybe open up the geo app or open up the app drop but it actually opens up the par menu. Another example is the search in the taskbar which actually opens up the file manager and geo OS has two file managers to choose from by default. I mean why? There are a lot more things like the corners of the UI are rounded while the display is not so it looks like this. Now this is practically Android but there's no Play Store pre-installed, no Chrome or no other browser, decent browser pre-installed. I mean you get this app called WebView Browser Tester with the Android icon you associate from unfinished apps and this has again a super outdated UI with no features at all. Now you can use GeoStore to get the apps, I mean we installed Edge and it works fine and it has all the features but the problem is GeoStore only worked for us once. Now when we open it, it says device not registered with no suggestions on how to register the device. That's not the only bug though, the task manager in GeoOS crashes most of the time and sometimes it crashes the whole system. Also the laptop gives you this chime when opening and uh, closing the lid but the sound is always delayed and sometimes it just plays up randomly. See? Nice. Love this laptop. <laughs> the bugs apart, this is based on Android so you can install APKs although side loading Play Store did not work. Also if you're wondering if you can install Chrome OS Flex on it, it should be possible because it's powered by an ARM chipset but we haven't found a way to do that yet. Look, the Geophone Next was a disappointment and now this, the new Geobook is another big disappointment. Honestly, this makes me feel that Geo just can't make good hardware. I mean, the Geobook at around 15K could have disrupted the market because there is a lot of demand for an affordable laptop under 20K in India, but this is just a missed opportunity. I mean, most of the features in the Geobook are okay for the price tag it comes at, but Geo OS is just a nightmarish experience. I mean if you're planning to buy the Geobook, just don't. Get a Chromebook or even an Android tablet, trust me.
Do you think Jio should make more phones and laptops after what has happened with the Jio Phone Next and now this Jio Book? Comment down below your thoughts. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed the experience this laptop brings. And yeah, share this video and uh, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. The biggest problem of WhatsApp web is that anyone can see your chats, your personal photos, who you're talking to, and...